All right, bags are packed. Let's come on the inside now. Pull the door open and take a peek around. So the first thing you're gonna notice here are these two panels and this switch right here. So you're gonna wanna flip that on. That's your main power. So if at any time you're not hooked up to shore power, you wanna make sure that button's clicked on. Once that button gets clicked, you're gonna see this uh, main panel light up. You'll just hit I accept. And so this is your home screen right here. So you have your light switches right here. So you can do all on and then everything's lit up or all off. And then if you want to pick like a specific light that you want on, if you don't want all the lights, you can come over to this little light button and then you can select which light specifically you want on. Um, the other thing that you can take a peek at on this screen is your gauges. So this tells you that your freshwater tank is full and you have your gray one, gray two, black and propane. We're on an incline right now because I'm in the driveway. So that's why those are um, not reading all correctly, but they are the gray and the black are empty. The propane's full and the fresh water is 100%. The other thing you'll notice here is this water pump button. So I showed you where the manual switch is in the back. This is the water pump button that we use most of the time when we're inside the van. Um, so you'll just click that water pump button and then you hear the pump kick on. Once you hit that button, then you can go ahead and use the toilet, the sink, the shower. Um, but when it when you're not using water, you do want to make sure it is turned off. The next thing you'll see here is the house and um, chassis battery. So we are plugged in right now, so those are charging up. And then the generator start and stop. So to turn on the generator, you'll just hold down this start button. and then you'll hear the generator kick on. If it turns off after 30 seconds or so, um, just go ahead and hit the start button again. It's just like a like a lawnmower basically. Um, so it does take a little bit to warm up sometimes. So we'll just go ahead and hit that stop button. You do need the generator in order to work the induction cooktop and the AC if you are not hooked up to shore power. Uh, and then also the uh, outlets on the kitchen counter require the generator or shore power as well. So next little button down here is generator settings, which you won't need. Um, this is basically like if you were gonna live in the van. Uh, next thing here is this little thermometer button. It's 107 right now. So we're gonna turn this thing on because we are connected to shore power. Like I mentioned, get it nice and cool in here. So hit that cool button and then you would just select what temperature you wanna get it to. I'm just going to turn to 75 just to show you that's how it works. Um, next thing here is the awning panel. So it's really simple. You just have extend and retract. So once you hit that extend button, I'm not going to put it out all the way, but you'll be able to see it come out right here. And so once you have the uh, awning extended, you can push this little button and then it pushes the arm back and then it will swing out for you. And then you can just hook it in right here. And then um, right here. So these things kind of just push up and down so that you can uh, get the legs of the awning in there. Okay. Um, also, you have more electrical outlets on this side for your margarita machine. Um, do you need generator or shore power for those outlets to work? And then to reel it back in, you'll just hit this retract button and you'll just keep your finger on it all the way until you hear it close. There we go, that's that. And then we'll just go back to home and that's everything on that panel.